Okay, so here's the situation happening. I'm headed, so much hair right now. I'm headed to, where's all the hair coming from? Miami tomorrow morning. I leave at 4 a.m. So I just tried a new self tanner last night, as you do. It actually looks really good on the rest of my body, but my hands got a little wild. So I'm gonna show you guys how I remove self tanner from uh, unwanted areas such as this. But my arms and stuff, let me show you. Just looking at the rest of my body, like my arms and stuff minus my hands, <laughs> doesn't look too bad. I also dyed my roots last night, hence why they're looking really crazy. So I just let my hair air dry and then I need to blow dry and straighten and stuff this morning. But this guy right here, this is the key to life, okay? If you have a situation like this or if you just need to get off your tan like in between. I could not <laughs> get it off. I just showered and uh, tried to scrub. I used the self tan remover. I think it's either like too recent because that stuff does work better if you have like a few day old tan. I mean, hopefully it stays on the rest of my body as well as it's staying on my hand. This is the self tanner I tried. It's the Vita Librata Invisi tan and I got the medium dark shade. They have a darker one, which is just from Amazon and I got it for like half price. It's on sale for like 20 bucks, normally 40 I think. Oh my god, so much sun. Where's the sun coming from, Seattle? I just finished up my hair. I actually really think I like that blue-black dye. I tried a different blue-black dye. Normally I use the L'Oreal. Let me turn off, this, turn off the window. Normally I use the L'Oreal Preference blue-black, which I really like, but today I tried the Clairol one, which I used to use. But I'm just finishing up packing now. I'm adding in some stuff from Threadup that I got. Holy sun, that plane looks so sad. So I just need to finish up packing. I need to change my foundations out for my makeup bag because of the self tanner situation, but also I'm going straight from Miami to New York. So it'll probably fade. Like I probably won't have the self tanner on in New York. So I need foundation options, you know, but I'm gonna add in a few things from my thread up order that I got. So thank you to thread up for supporting my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. I love working with thread up. You guys know I love thrifting. Thread up is the world's largest online thrift store. And you can find things up to 90% off the retail value. I get so many good deals on there. A ton of the clothes you guys see me wearing on Instagram are from ThreadUp. And I just find, I don't know, I find really good things on there for super cheap. So I got these Adidas shorts, Fabletics. I didn't realize they had Fabletics on there, but you can find really good deals on Fabletics leggings. Some Levi's, you can search by brand, size, everything. I just have my size preferences and colors and stuff saved. So it makes shopping really easy and quick because literally I just put in like, <laughs> basically the neutral colors. So I'll put in like tan, black, white, brown. That's about it. Everything that you could potentially want will come up. But everything in today's haul is under 20 bucks. And if it's your first time shopping on ThreadUp, they're giving you guys 30% off with the link down below. You can use the code Taylor30. That'll give you 30% off your first order on ThreadUp. But this top, as you can see, is very sparkly, very exciting. I like it because it's like subtle but also makes a statement because of the sparkle and i feel like this would look so pretty with some like dangly necklaces or something this is from h&m the estimated original price was 18 dollars, and i got it for 10.99 so here is the first dress i feel like this would look really cute in miami it has like a slit situation down the front and i like that it's kind of like cinched here but this dress you guys still has the tag it is brand new the estimated original price on this one was $60 and I got it for $19.99 on ThreadUp. I needed new workout shorts and I got these Nike ones. I have a few pairs of these. Actually, I think I got all of them from ThreadUp. You can get them way marked down. For some reason, these ones have the Nike thing kind of in the back. It looks like they're on the inside out, but they're not. Let's see how much these were. These were originally $48 and I got them for $15.99, people, $15.99. The estimated original price on the Adidas is $48 and I got it for $17.99. I like wearing these kind of shirts just on a daily basis too, so you could like do the, you know, ponytail thing and then wear this top with like black jeans or something and you have an easy outfit. So I'm definitely packing both of these on the trip. Okay, how amazing is this shirt? This looks like it's never been worn or washed or anything. It says you can't make everyone happy or not an avocado. So true, you know, so true. Estimated original price on this one was $15 and I got it for $11.99. But like I said, it's like brand new. And then these shorts, which are like borderline, I don't know, a little bit too short for my liking. Just showing the internet my butt. But I do like the pocket placement. No pockets. 
I'm like reaching for the bucket. These are from H&M. The estimated original price was $20 and I got them for $11.99. So that's pretty good. So I'm definitely packing all of these five things. So I need to add those in. But again, you guys can check out ThreadUp at the link down below and use the 30% off code, which is Taylor30. So I need to go through my makeup bag and switch out what foundations and stuff I want to bring. I think I'm just going to bring the foundation drops so I can mix to create any shade. My, my number seven ones, where are they? I have three shades of these bad boys. So these are really good for travel because you can just bring whatever shade and like mix with one or two foundations that you bring. It's always exciting when I have self tanner on because I can wear foundations that normally I can't wear because they're too dark. So I kind of need to go through and figure, figure it out. By the way, this vlog is going to be a little bit out of order because I have so many random clips from everything. But when you guys are seeing this, I'm pretty sure I'll be in Miami. But then like the rest of this vlog is kind of going back in time, just FYI. Always keep little mini Shiseido Synchro Skin foundations in here. I actually really like this. I didn't like it when I first tried it. I still don't love it, but it's very long lasting. So I like mixing it in with stuff. That's usually how I wear it, not on its own. Definitely bringing the R330 in Makeup Forever Stick because this one I can use as a bronzer, but also if I'm just like really tanned, I can use that as foundation. So I'm gonna definitely bring that guy. I have two Milk Makeup eyebrow gels that are almost out. I think this one, yeah, this one has a little bit more. Two setting sprays, don't need that. This one I'm almost out of, the Anime, but I'm gonna keep my trace. Oh, I actually really like this Givenchy bronzer. I haven't mentioned it, but it's pretty, it's very glowy. It's in the shade Natural Rose. This Cover FX highlight I've been loving. Again, this is one I used to always talk about, Moonlight. It's good because it's a small travel size. Have the AOA Drop Foundation. I'm gonna take that one out because I don't think I'm gonna use that a whole lot this trip. And then the NARS. I'm gonna keep this in for mixing and it's a nice travel size one. Have my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Speaking of, wow, this desk situation is a literal complete disaster right now. So I've talked a lot about the loose powder. I've been loving the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening under eye pressed powder. It's like the same thing, but the pressed version, I think I actually like it a little bit better. I feel like it doesn't make my eye under eyes quite as dark. Sometimes the loose powders on me can for some reason, but I only like this one using with a sponge, I think. What is this one? I think this is the Haley's Beauty sponge and I just use it dry and just dip in and then press it underneath my eyes and I really like it Apply that way. So I'm actually gonna take out the loose powder and just keep this one and this will be good because it doesn't matter what my skin tone is. I'm gonna bring Max So Natural. This is a good travel one because it can't break either because it's more of like a cream. I've been really liking the Wet n Wild sponge too. I feel like I can't vlog and do this at the same time. I need to focus. So I'm going to finish doing this. So I don't think I've said, but Miami is my boyfriend's work trip. So I'm just kind of going along, but I'm also going to be filming and working there. So I don't think I'm going to be vlogging, but I am going to try and film like a sit down, get ready with me in Miami kind of video. And then we go straight from there to New York for a few days. New York is like kind of half work, half play. So I have a full day of meetings while I'm there, but then the rest of the time we have off and we're just going to be chilling in Brooklyn and stuff. So my Instagram is Taylor Wynn if you want to follow along with that. But we have to leave my house at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> Literally the second I whipped out my vlog camera, it got hella dark outside what happened it was like sunny and now it's all cloudy i just filmed a first impressions on a bunch of elf products i'm obsessed with this eye look i like don't want to take off my makeup at all ever I'm wearing this beanie from express which is so warm and comfy and then this long sleeve shirt i think it's just from forever 21 a while ago or something here's the eye look in natural lighting i'm so in love with that glitter on the lower lash line I think if I could only wear one makeup look like for the rest of my life, it would be this. So I picked up some stuff from Amazon and Tarjay. Let's do a little haulage here. So these I've been trying. I've tried for about a week now and I love them. I got these because my boyfriend had them and he left them here one time and I went to the gym and I used his and I was like, these are awesome. I don't know why I've been procrastinating trying like the whole AirPod situation. So these are AirPod dupes basically. They're way more affordable. They feel the same, like they're, the brand is Soundcore. I'm gonna link all these down below. But it has the magnetic closure. They just sit in there and they charge in the case. And then when you take them out, they automatically connect to your phone and there's no wires or anything. I've been like anti-Bluetooth headphone <laughs> since they came out because I just think it's so dumb that Apple removed the headphone jack. But now 
I'm like, wow, it's great not having wires like when you're on a walk, literally anywhere, just around the house, on a walk, whatever. So far, these have been really good. They got good reviews. These are my Crest White Strips. I just got these on Amazon because they were the cheapest. I usually look around on like Walgreens, Bartels, CVS, see if there's any kind of deals going on because there are sales on these a lot, but uh, Amazon was the cheapest at the time. And they also had like a $10 off coupon going on. And the ones that I like are the No Slip white strips. These ones don't irritate my teeth. I always get asked about how I wipe my teeth. For about the last, I don't even know now, maybe like year and a half, two years, I've been using Crest white strips and I just like them because there's no trays or anything and they're just super easy. Like you literally just slap them on, cut them in half so you get double the use out of them. The amount in here will literally last you like over a year if you cut them. So these are really cool. I was looking for just better options instead of using like saran wrap and foil and stuff for closing off containers. So these are stretchy, reusable, little sealant thing so you can like put this over the lid of a can which i always make like refried beans and then i have to like wrap off the top of the can so just stretching it over and then you, i think you can put these in the dishwasher <laughs> it's a little funny look at smiley face just notice that but just stretch it over a whole bowl if you like make pasta or salad or something you can just stretch over the entire bowl instead of like moving everything into another container those are the few things i picked up on amazon all those will be down below so i picked up some ground coffee so i have been switching away from k-cups because i have finally bought the reusable oh that just like popped open in the bag the reusable uh k-cup fits in the k-cup and you just use like ground coffee and then rinse that out so there's no waste or anything so i just have the italian dark roast and these if you haven't used them you should actually save these i forget what you get i haven't done in a while because i haven't bought ground coffee but you get something free from starbucks i've been wanting to try this brand for forever because they have the wick that like crackles it's called plus wick it has a wooden wick the scent is weathered wood i don't think i quite have like a scent like this yet so i loved that this one's a little bit unique and as you can see it has a cool wooden wick so it crackles and like pops when you burn it so it kind of sounds like a fire i went in the kids section i always find my shoes in the kids section because target doesn't carry size fives and i'm actually a woman size four anyways but sometimes i can fit into fives but if i'm a kid in target i'm usually two or three so these i thought were so cute for summer and these were only 14.99 and they have like a nice material right here it's kind of like thick and comfy it's like foamy kind of these i also got from the kids section these ones I think were maybe in the little boys, but they're tan slip-ons, kind of just like Vans. And these were $14.99 as well. Kids shoes always look a little bit like they have a rounder toe and they're not quite as like high as some of the other cute platforms in women's sizes. So it's a sacrifice you gotta make. But like I said, it's hard to find in size fours, you know? I usually have to buy all my shoes on Nordstrom Rack or Hot Look because they have a lot of size fours. And that's basically the only spot I can find shoes. So if not, I'll get kid shoes. But I just loved the color of those. And then the last thing I picked up at Target was this pajama set. It comes to the top and then little shorts. But buttons down. And I'm just trying to wear cuter pajamas. And these ones are really soft too. It's like a really soft cottony kind of material. So I just thought these would be comfy. How much were these? These were $21.99. So that's actually pretty good for a pajama set. So that's everything I picked up lately. I feel like I always go on YouTube to find quick lunch ideas. So this is just something that I've been doing. It's like a very basic shrimp fajitas. And it's super quick. I just use frozen shrimp, chop up some onion and green pepper. I have a lot here because I'm going to use some for lunch tomorrow. So I'm just waiting for that to cook. And then once it's cooked a little bit more, I'm going to add in some taco seasoning. This is what really makes it. I tried to use like a, I think it's like semi healthier, I don't know, a Thrive fajita seasoning one time and it was really gross. Like it just did not taste the same. I also have meatless beef strips that I'll use sometimes instead of the shrimp, but I was just in a little shrimp mood. You could add like beans or rice or something too, but I'm just trying to keep it kind of, you know, low carb and things. And it's super filling because the shrimp. I've also been obsessed with uh, scallops. I just get the Trader Joe's jumbo scallops. I'll make like five of these and literally just sear them in butter. And then I'll eat them with spinach or some other veggie like broccoli or something for lunch. I don't know why, but I've just been like in such a scallop mood. And they're super filling because they're really high in protein too. I love seafood. I also add this, and I use this as kind of like a Greek yogurt substitute. It's not quite as thick as Greek yogurt, but it's dairy-free. 
Kite Hill Plain Unsweetened. It doesn't taste like sugary or like vanilla or anything, so it's good to add in food. And I basically like to use it as like a sour cream alternative. And if you mix in some hot sauce with this, like El Pacho or Tapatio or something, it's really good just also for like dressings and stuff you could use it. So I'll add in some of that. You guys, these cookies are vegan. They're not healthy, but they're vegan. They are better than a lot of normal tasting cookies I've tried. They're so friggin' good. It's just the frozen cookie dough that you put in the oven. I've repurchased these like four times. It's really bad, it's a bad habit. But I'll just like pop one of these in the oven at night and it's such a good dessert. I guess I'm gonna be in like a fridge tour right now basically, but I'm just sharing some of the things that I've been using to kind of eat less dairy and sauces I feel like make all the difference because you can basically just throw together a bowl and put good sauces on it and it tastes amazing. This is also vegan. It's Cafe Yum, yum sauce. You can order this online I guess if you don't have a Cafe Yum near you but if you're in Oregon or Washington they're all over the place. You kind of have to use them fairly quickly so I don't like buying the big they sell like a bigger version, but I like just buying the smaller ones. I have like four back there because I put this on everything. I love making my own like yum bowls at night for dinner. If you've never tried yum sauce, I can't even explain it to you. It's nothing like I've ever tried before, honestly. And then I almost always have farro ready to go that I'll just heat up. And then spinach and soups have also been like a go-to. So I have these beautiful handmade wall decor pieces that I got from North Wood Supply. Here's their Instagram. I just want to show you how freaking pretty. Can you focus? Look at how beautiful their feet is. They just have some really cool pieces. Let me pick out something for my bedroom. So I picked out these three, which I think are going to look so cute above here. I'm thinking I'll need to move that guy because I need to center these and they're pretty big and my bed isn't centered because of the nightstand there. So if I want to center them above the bed, I'm probably going to have to go right there, like all the way to the right, if that makes sense. I like that this has like a little bit darker wood too, because I think it'll be a nice kind of change from the warm wood over here. I'm going to hang these. I'm going to recruit my boyfriend to help me just because I tried to like line it up myself and it's really hard to tell because you can't stand back and look at it at the same time. So if he can hold it up and I can tell him like where to put it, then we can do it then, you know much easier so I'll link her shop down below if you guys want to check them out and support small business okay so let's take down that one is this going down for yeah. me uh, left left like a few inches yeah right there this is the length here's another super quick healthy lunch idea besides these I just have a few of these because it's really good to add the crunch but I go with the Bat. I love these bags of tuna. It sounds so gross, but they're actually really good. Obviously put them in the refrigerator and they're only like, some of them are like 60 calories per pack. This one I think is 90 per pack, depending on the seasoning. I like the lemon, things like lemon pepper one too. I just have a few of these always in my fridge and you don't even have to mix it with anything. You literally just eat it straight out of here. It's already seasoned. It's really good and low calorie, but has protein. And then I love pepperoncinis. I'm going through a pepperoncini phase right now. And then these are like a better alternative to hot Cheetos. They're multi-grain, gluten-free, organic, and they're spicy. They don't have the same taste, like exact same taste as hot Cheetos, but they're pretty good for being like a healthier option. These aren't healthy. I mean, they're obviously chips, but I just have a few of these to add some like crunch and flavor with the tuna and everything. And then gotta have my LaCroix. So I was clearing out my bathroom products because they get cluttered really quickly just with all the stuff I test. And I've had these sitting here for forever to try out. And I just want to like test them all on my legs right now. So I can see which ones I might want to keep for the summer and which ones I'm going to donate. Because I don't need all of these I don't think. And it's really tricky finding like good shimmer products that actually stay on. And they give the right color and don't look like too orange on my skin tone. So I'm just going to swatch all these for you guys so you can see too if you've been like debating. The only ones I think I've tried are the Patrick Ta Huda Beauty I know I don't love. So I don't even know why I still have that. I always think maybe I'll use it and then I don't. And then the other ones I just want to try again. I've tried like a few others but we will see. So I have my legs. <laughs> have my legs. Wow. They're ready to go, you know? So here we go. I also have been waiting to test this on a sunny day. As you can see, we have some sun so I can see really like how much glitter and stuff is in it. Okay, we're starting off with L'Oreal Beach Bay 21 Light Medium. I need to 
like roll up my sleeves here. That one looks nice. So I like, well, I like body products that aren't like glittery per se. I really like when they have a sheen like this and where it's like a hint of color, but nothing crazy. So I could wear it if I didn't have like self tanner on, but just adds a little bit of color there. Also a must for me is ones that don't transfer. That's like my pet peeve because I just don't want to worry about them like coming off onto clothes. Okay, let's do a sun test. Also, I need to shave my legs. Has a pretty color in the sun. I don't think it's actually picking up on camera maybe, but in real life I do see glitter, but it doesn't look like overpowering. So this one is a keeper. Let's try um, Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Medium. I think I've tried most of these, but I just need to eliminate because whenever I like might want to use one, I don't remember which ones I actually like and don't like. So I just want to keep the ones I for sure like. Okay, so this one's definitely much more brown. Oh, but it's blending out to be a nice color. I'm getting in the shower after this, so I don't really care about the leg situation. Okay, so here it is in the sun. It has glitter. That one actually looks like in real life that it has less glitter. And the color is also really nice. I like that one. Oh, this is a newer product, so I'm excited to see what this one looks like. It's in the shade Nude Glow. They do have a few shades of this, Sally Hansen. Whoa, this one has like a roller. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, weird. Okay, off the bat, I can tell I do not like this applicator. Very odd. Smells really strong, so if you were wearing perfume, uh, this would definitely interfere. And I feel like that didn't do a whole lot. This might be more one for like your collarbones kind of thing. This isn't really doing a whole lot of anything. Okay, I'm gonna donate that. I don't think I'll use that at all. Let's try this one. It's the Glow Oil Goldie Rock. It has like a yellow champagne kind of color. It smell like perfume. It smells like their Bum Bum Cream. It's the same brand. So I think I would be fine with that scent. Okay, I'm getting like a shadow. So I'm trying to like lift my leg up here. Wow. How do I not get the shadow of my body? This is a struggle. Oh God, now we're like doing gymnastics here to get a friggin' shot. I don't know if it's giving me like any more of a glow than like sunscreen would, honestly. Like just wearing an oily sunscreen, but I like the scent of that and it does look pretty. So this one, as you can see, looks pretty glittery. It's the ColourPop Shimmering Dry Oil. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this one just cause it looks super, super glittery. This one I'm actually trying a bit on my arm right there. I'm getting glitter all over my camera right now. So this one I'm not into, it's just super glittery, but if that's your thing, then this is pretty but I feel like I'll just never wear this because it's so glittery. I have a feeling I'm gonna have the same kind of thoughts on the Patrick Ta Sh A Dream Champagne Body Oil. Looks very glittery, oh my God. That looks so cool in the sun though. So this one actually comes with a sprayer. I'm gonna try and not get this all over my sheets. So that one has a little bit more of a fine glitter. Oh, that looks kind of nice. And I feel like if I really blended this in and kind of sheared it out, I would like it even more because it would be just less. I think I'm gonna keep that one. It does feel very moisturizing too. I don't think I would use this on like my arms, but I would probably put it on my legs. So right here I have the Huda Beauty Luna. I have tried this. It dries down very quick and it is like highlight. It is almost like too intense. You probably have to mix this in with like a moisturizer because on its own it's just like straight highlight basically. I like the sheen of this one. But I think in order to wear it, I would have to mix it in with moisturizer for sure. Or else I just wouldn't wear this. And this one also transfers a ton, by the way. And it's super, like, look at that. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of this one because I feel like I won't even use it because of the transfer. So, so far, these are my tops. I don't know if I'm going to use the Patrick Toss, so I might get rid of it. Because I feel like if I was reaching for one, I'd probably just use one of these. But I still have these three sprays and these are kind of like it says for face but i'm just gonna test it on my leg i would use this on not my face because i wouldn't use the spray highlight but i maybe would use it on like my decollete or something so here's white pearl and gold pearl i just don't think i would use this on my face because i wouldn't spray it on i think i tested that spraying it on my face like in a first impressions video super weird couldn't even swatch gold pearl because it's literally empty like there's nothing in here, which is really bizarre because I used this. I'm pretty sure this is the shade I used one time, maybe. I don't know if it evaporated or what's happening, but like there's nothing, it's completely empty. There's nothing in here. But these, how many? Six I'm gonna get rid of. And then these four are the keepers here. Totally doesn't go along with the <laughs> healthy homemade meal theme in this video, but I just door dashed Cheesecake Factory because I was craving it. I don't know why. I never crave cheesecake or Cheesecake Factory, but you know, Sometimes 
you just gotta go all out. I haven't tried these before. These are their um, fried zucchini sticks. Hopefully they're not mushy. Sometimes when you get to go fried things, it like the heat from the container like makes them all mushy, but. Also had to get cheesecake. Oh my God, yum. This is the red velvet cheesecake. That's going in the fridge right now. And then I might save this for dinner later. I'm kind of like at a weird time of day right now. Like I haven't really had a full meal, but I'm not like ready for dinner dinner. I actually just got the kids salmon and mashed potatoes because it was only 10 bucks. And then you get smaller portions. Like I can never eat full uh, Cheesecake Factory portions anyways. Just better all around. And it's just a tiny piece of salmon, mashed potatoes and carrots. Oh, that smells really good though. So I think I'm gonna save that and eat that in a couple hours, but first I'm just gonna munch on the zucchini. Let's see how these are. These are very zucchini-y. They're like thick pieces of zucchini. And I think I should pop these in the oven because they're kind of cold. I'm gonna heat those up. I also gave some of their famous bread. Are you team white or brown bread from Cheesecake Factory? Brown bread all the way, personally. Okay, I'm filming two other videos the day that I'm filming uh, this part of the vlog. This vlog is like a mix of a lot of random clips from random days, which is how all of my vlogs are. So this is a uh, not sponsored, but I just got real into, well, there was one thing that I really wanted to repurchase from Thrive Market because they're the only place I can find that sells these. Let me know if you guys know anywhere else that does. I saw them on Amazon, but they were more expensive. I'm talking about these bad boys. These are so freaking good. Thrive Market's kind of like I don't know how to explain it. It's like a healthy online grocery store, but they have a lot of different like, you know, kind of things that aren't normally carried in grocery stores. So, and they are really marked down. This is not sponsored. I just went on to purchase things because I wanted these and I ended up getting a bunch of other stuff. So I ordered like 10 bags of these. So there's 80 calories in one entire bag of these. And they're just like a good alternative if you're someone who likes sour candy to like Sour Patch Kids or something. They are plant-based, high in fiber. They don't have any artificial colors or flavors or sweeteners. I've tried a bunch of the Smart Sweets, but those are my favorite ones. And then I just picked up a bunch of different kinds of things to try. So I got these Grain Free Puffs barbecue flavored. We'll see. I was so excited about these friggin' beans. Have you ever seen refried black beans? Because I've only seen one restaurant in Seattle do refried black beans. And I didn't even know that you could buy them like this. I've never seen these in the grocery store. They're like mushed black beans. I don't like black beans because I like the creaminess of like refried beans. And I guess they have some like seasoning mixed in too. Organic garbanzo beans, just two pouches. They have really good deals on a lot of the stuff and they kind of like switch up their sales too. So I think I got these for like cheaper than what garbanzo beans would be in like the store. And then I got different things to try for baking. So I got an egg replacer. I'm gonna try and make some like vegan kinds of desserts. And then I got oat flour. I've been loving oat milk. So I really wanna try oat flour. I've read really good reviews about this instead of like almond flour and stuff. It's just a little bit better tasting and like a better consistency. So I'm gonna try maybe making some like, I don't know, chocolate chip cookies or something. I don't know why I got these. I think they were just like really cheap and it's a big bag of pasta. Oh, this is another baking ingredient for that, xanthan gum, I think is how you say it. A lot of the recipes I was looking up that were like technically keto cookies, I think. They used this, I don't know, I haven't fully researched this yet, but these were pretty cheap. And then also I've heard a lot of people talk about Lily's dark chocolate chips. So these have no sugar added, so it's just stevia sweetened, so they're like way less calories and sugar and stuff than normal chocolate chips. I'm really excited to try this because a lot of people were raving about this in the reviews. It's a vegan Parmesan cheese alternative, so people were saying this tastes exactly like Parmesan cheese. I don't know why they had to put that in a plastic bag, but these are... Uh, like fresh olives, I guess you would say. Jelly is one of those things like ketchup that can just have tons of hidden sugars and ingredients and stuff that you just don't need in it. And so this one is a strawberry fruit spread sweetened with fruit juice. It got really good reviews. I like the packaging on this one. Yep, so that's everything I got at Thrive Market here. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Maybe in the next vlog, I will try out one of those recipes using like the oat flour and stuff. Let me know if you guys have any good ones to try down below. Like, I basically just want healthier, lower calorie things that still taste good to bake. 
let me know if you have any recipes. I'm filming a foundation Friday today and an empties video I just filmed. So I got two videos, well, like one and a half videos done, not done with the foundation Friday yet. So today I have a lot of other things I wanna get done too. I wanna get a video edited. Whoa, I just noticed there's a giant bird's nest in that tree, like a huge one. What a bird is that? It's freaking huge. I have a lot of stuff coming up, some trips and stuff, so I just need to get things. I have a lot of stuff pre-filmed right now, but I just need to catch up on the editing. That's the plan, Stan. I think I'm gonna end this one here, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I do have a vlog playlist. It's called the Leopard Robe Vlog Playlist. I used to always wear <laughs> leopard robes in my vlogs. And don't forget to check out ThreadUp at the link down below and use the code TAYLOR30. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.